is our shorty edition. I'm Cassie. I'm Keegan. I'm Christina. And Happy. everything is awful. <laughs> 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 I actually, we got um, a really, really incredible email from a listener a while back that I, I really wanted to share. I think it's something worth talking about. It really brought me back to a place in time. I want to see what you guys think. Okay. But she says, Hey guys, I love your podcast so much and I don't have a worse date story, but I do have more of a sad situation to share. I just thought I'd take a long shot. And even if you don't share, maybe it'll bring back some memories, but I thought it could be a good talking point on the show and also very relatable. I'm 18 and I'm going through my first major breakup. I've dated before, but not as serious as this. I'm bisexual and it was my first relationship with another girl and it lasted over a year. We became a huge part of each other's lives and families and that makes it even harder because not only do I miss her, but also her wonderful siblings. We also still love each other a lot, but things got a little toxic on both ends so we decided to break up for now. I've been in a horrible relationship prior to this one and her parents really fucked her over in the relationship department because there's a lot of cheating in their marriage. I feel like we both just didn't really understand how to remain stable in a relationship. Mm. I really haven't ever been this sad before and it's really hard to stay motivated. I know she feels the same way and when we broke up we said we could possibly get back together later on down the line once we've worked more on ourselves. Mm -hmm. We go to the same college and our remaining friends as it was a mutual and amicable breakup. We just broke up so we're taking a couple weeks before we start hanging out again as friends. However, I am worried she won't want to hang out again, which I feel like won't happen, but it's always a possibility. I have anxiety, so I'm super good at overthinking. Mm. (laughs) Welcome. Yeah, Yeah. relatable. (laughs) We were really good friends before we dated, so I just don't want to lose her fully. I also worry I won't be able to get over her, but she'll get over me. Mm. Seeing her with somebody else would probably crush me. The thing is, we work really well together, and it was surprising to find that so young, especially when I wasn't looking for a relationship at the time. I'm glad we were both really mature about the entire thing, but my 18-year-old heart is still super broken, and I have hope that we will get back together again. I know it probably shouldn't, since I am so young, but I'm only human, lol. I'm so glad I got to know her in a way nobody else has, and I will never regret anything, but it's super hard to stay positive. Can so, I say, first of all, that that is such a mature email <laughs> from 18. an 18-year-old? I like, know. I'm like, wow. Like, everything about that was actually very, very mature. Like, they made a mature decision to end mm-hmm. the relationship when they thought things were getting toxic. And all of those feelings that she's having are so... That's just par for the course yeah. relationship, end of yeah. relationship. And you should never feel weird or bad about any of that stuff. That's just what you feel when a relationship ends yeah. you know it's it's like a death it's hard it just i was like oh my gosh i just i brought me right back to my 18 year old boyfriend and just like that intense heartbreak that it's just i i i know we all have to go through it but it just it feels nothing's as intense as that first one you yeah. know um i think that I think that heartbreak is important in all of our lives. I think that heartbreak helps you. I think it helps you grow. I think there's something about dealing with stuff like that. That is, it is growth, right? Like, cause you manage through that, you work through those emotions, you then hopefully those things help guide you to make better decisions as you move through your life um, or better decisions for you. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, because it really does feel like you're going to feel that way forever. Oh, yeah. Like when you have that that terrible heartbreak, breakup heartbreak, you're like, I will never feel okay again. Like that is you can't see your way out of that like heartbreak hole. And then you do. You do. Like life moves on. You do feel better again, you know, and you learn from that. You grow. You learn a lot about yourself, I think. I think for me, too, the one thing that it helped me to learn was to start to combat that thing that's been shoved down our throats our whole lives that concept of soulmate 
Oh, like right. only having one person out yeah. there that you're supposed to find that yeah. is your soulmate. It's pressure. And yeah, it's a lot of pressure. Yeah. And it's it's really like the older I've gotten now, I find like people will work for you sometimes in certain situations and uh, like people are meant to come in and out of our lives and we're we're meant to be grateful for the time we do get to spend with people. Yeah. And um yeah, yeah. I think I that's just part of it. Like well, learning how life to, is fluid. We're yeah. always changing and growing mm-hmm. and evolving and becoming different. Like and so it makes sense mm-hmm. that there are some people who are going to um be good for you at a certain season in your life. That's and right. then sometimes you outgrow each other like that's just something that happens yeah but it's it's sad i i would definitely say like as the whole friendship thing like um i do hope that you do get to a place but it may may not happen right away and you know that's something that's got to be okay too you know that's exactly right you gotta you have to come to terms with the the possibility that that might not work yeah. out. Yeah. yeah. And I yeah. think that's hard. That's hard because, and, and you have a valid worry about like her meeting somebody else, but I'm, you know, and moving but you on. Will too. But you will too. At yeah. some point. Right. I mean, it's possible. It's possible. You guys might not end up back together. You or know? you might, or I you mean, might. I don't know. You might, it happens. It does happen, but it's like, if, if it doesn't happen, that's okay too. Yeah. And I think that you gotta you gotta really address the reasons it didn't work out if you're going to go back together because I think that yeah. that is you can't leave anything on the table that because then the next might break up might be the end end yeah of like friendship everything you know what I mean yeah, yeah. I also just try in general these days not to be so um, goal oriented I guess if that makes sense not having something be like. Oh, the end all be all goal is that we get back together right, or whatever. Right. And just like instead, like mm. just be more into being, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. It's just like Trying so to hard. Tell to- 18 year old me that though. I know. Oof. I know. Same. Yeah. Same. Yeah. But, but you it- really can't control anything. Yeah. So you might as well just like let it go. Like let it ride, let it ride. Seriously, yeah, it's the best thing you can do. From not an advice podcast, no, by the way. <laughs> but also like, God, thank you so much yeah. for such a well written email, and from three women who also definitely know that feeling. Mm-hmm. We give you so much love and hugs and support during this time. You know, you being eighteen though, you've got. So much. Oh, yeah. So much ahead of you. (laughs) And especially like the way that she wrote it out and the way that you're in touch with your feelings in a very mature, thought out way. Like, oh, yeah. (sighs) If you could just run for president or something. (laughs) That would be great. (laughs) Great. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. But then it made me think after reading that. Okay, so we always do a would you rather for the shorty. So in the spirit of that, would you rather have ended up with your 18-year-old partner. Mm. First boyfriend. First, yeah. Your first, first serious, serious boyfriend. Okay. Right. partner. Okay. Or be single for the rest of your life alone. Because I had a boyfriend, in quotes, when I was like 14, but like it was like hold hands in the hallway kind of thing. Like that was not... I'm talking the serious You're talking one. like serious yeah. and like... You lost broke, your virginity. Broke your, <laughs> lost your virginity, broke your heart kind of thing. Yeah. Um, would I rather be with him for the rest of my life or never be with anyone again? Correct. Never be with anyone again. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, I'd rather be alone. I mean... Um, and granted, in fairness, I don't know him now. You know, right. people sure. grow right. and change. He doesn't know me now. Like, we're v- different people than the yeah. people that we were when we were together. Um, but if I have to base it on who we were together and what I do know of him now, it would be a no. Nope. I, I, I don't want to live that life hmm. uh, ever again. So you're like, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I like myself. I'll be alone. That's yeah. Fine. I actually, my very first uh, serious boyfriend, I believe I've talked to, he's the one with the Ashley Judd poster yeah, above amazing. the bed. God. Yeah, amazing. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know anything about him now. God, it was uh, ages ago. But just thinking through what it would have been like to progress through life 
in that with him yeah. in that relationship never getting rid of that ashley judd poster <laughs> it's always there <laughs> takes it with you <laughs> he's 40 it's in his garage right in now. his garage <laughs> i love his tool, tool <laughs> i just i I, it's it, it's a no for me. I would also yeah. rather be alone. Yeah, I really I also, would. The older I get, the less being alone scares me. Yeah, like, I'm not scared amazing. of being alone. Like yes. I'm like yeah. I think I would be fine. Actually, mm-hmm. like you know, I you get to decorate your house however you want to. Oh, Nobody yeah. can tell you <laughs> if you want to eat baked potatoes for a month you every can day do for that. a month. You yeah, can, I yeah, I that's that's what's so funny is how much I grew to love being by myself yeah. right around the time I met Aaron. And you're like, oh damn, right. you're like, oh, oh man, I well, really got like a month shit. and a half of solid like just joy, joy. and happiness. Yes. <laughs> 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 and then here comes Eric. <laughs> Wrecking ball. <laughs> oh, I um I could be equally happy either way, to be honest with you. I do know what's going on with my ex. We're friends on Facebook. He uh love of my life. I was 16, broke my heart. He's a gem. He's honestly a gem. He seems like a sweet guy who is happily married with, you know, his 2.5 children and got a great job. We, I was absolutely able to be super weird with him and very much myself at 16, which was really fucking awesome. He's a great guy. I have literally nothing to say bad about Richie. Oh, go Richie. Shout out to Richie. Shout out to Richie. <laughs> yeah. You seem like an amazing guy still. I, I, I wouldn't, I do not think that my life would end up have been disappointing. I think that I wouldn't have obviously the life I have now, I'd probably end up living, you know, with him on his career path. So, you know, it's a different move. It's a different path. Right. But I don't think I would have been unhappy. Necessarily. There's a version of you in the multiverse that yeah, did that. That did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably yeah. in my midnight library. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, no, it would be a, <laughs> it would be a journey for sure to, to look into. But I'm not, I, I'm also could be completely happy being single. Yeah. Yeah. I think that, yeah, I think either of those would be an acceptable for me. Yeah. All yeah. right. Oh, okay. Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, no, great. No, I mean, I I'm can... happy for you. I'm, I'm glad that like <laughs> yeah. you don't have to look back on your past and be like, what? Listen, now there's like... a couple in there that I'm like, absolutely not. <laughs> you guys just happen to pick the one good one. Yes. It's a bookend in my, yes. my world. I had, I had a started good, with a strong start, a strong start, strong and finish. Strong finish yeah. And I'm very, very much <laughs> everything in the middle, though, should shit garbage my <laughs> choose your own adventure is full of like go to page 67 fell down into the crypt like yeah. that is <laughs> my my journey is just like oops yeah it's it's a it's a wreck of a choose your own adventure so that's hilarious yeah. <laughs> i mean awful but hilarious <laughs> well should we hop into story yes let's do it well i've got one okay uh, he told me we were going on a seven mile out and back <coughs> hike to go fly fishing. Okay, oh. first of all, first, hold on. How many miles? <laughs> seven. seven. Too many. No. Seven. We can find a closer to go fly fishing. So I'm also find... carrying all my equipment. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh-uh, I'm sorry. I need a caddy to Unless carry all my Brad fucking pit uh, in legend. <laughs> river or, or, river, yeah, runs, river through runs through it. it. Like, yeah. no, thank you, sir. No fucking thank you. Turns out it was seven miles of steep uphill uh, to get uh, there. We only Fuck fished you. for a few hours because we got rained out. And when I asked for help, he told me, I'm not your babysitter and <gasps> farted the entire day <gasps> because he ate a bean burrito. <laughs> I'm not, what is, wow. Did you go with your brother? This doesn't sound like a date at this all. This is no, so unromantic. Oh okay, it's God. like hot and hiking uphill. Mosquitoes. Like rain. fly fishing, uh, mosquitoes, oh, it's rain. It's because of oh. rain. Burritos. <laughs> this is you're I'm not on a date with somebody furious. that's not related to you. This yeah. is so, this, this is totally like a fucking like you're hanging out with your brother's friends or some shit. Something. I hate that. This is so like un unrelentingly unromantic. But oh. he also spoke to people we passed on the trail more than he spoke to me. And the seven mile hike back down gave us both a ton of knee pain and it was horrible. <laughs> Worst part, it was the second date because the first date was magical. Wha- what? How? How? What? The math ain't mathin'. I don't <laughs> understand. I, I have questions. Yeah. I have, I have 
I want to know about the first date. Me that too. Led exactly. To. I'm the like, first they, they like they went probably like to like a bar, had drinks. They like connected. It was like amazing. And then like, it's like you want to go fly fashion the gate with that. Maybe it's something that we're both interested in. I mean, Maybe. I'm. I this date sounds terrible Awful. to me. No, Truly, Thank and you. I like being outside. <laughs> I do too. Like, no, I but like you know hiking. What? Even I wouldn't even mind like younger me with better joints. Um, would never. I, this would actually sound great. The fly fishing, no. The fly I fishing is a hard pass. I don't like pass. fishing. I, I hate fishing. Yeah, I don't like touching things that are squishy, slimy. I don't eat uh-uh. them, so it just no. feels cruel. Yeah, doesn't. Uh, mean, no, but I mean, I would go. I would go on a hike. Maybe not. I, I like I being outside. Watching. And I like. Um, you know. But seven miles, right, is a lot. It yeah, does. like yeah, it, that's, that's a, a lot, lot for a first. I mean, for a date, that's a lot. I mean, if you were like, we're gonna do this, make a day of it. You guys have been together for a long time, and you like hiking. Then I'm like, yeah. okay, seven miles is okay. Yeah, because but like, even if I didn't want to fly fish, like, it, say, like in whatever multiverse, like Erica was like, yeah, I really want to do this. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, I'll bring I'll a book with, with me. Exactly. And I'll sit I'll there. You. If you want to fly fish, like that's sure. great. But yeah, seven but miles, is not is, that's date. an all day thing. And this also check the date. weather because I'm not hiking in mist. You also, know what I mean? Gross. Second date is too much to be blowing ass. Oh. It's much too soon. <laughs> too soon like, bro. listen, we all get older and our bodies make weird Retract noises us. and everything like that. And it's fine. I get it. But <sighs> second it. date, hide that shit. Hide that shit <laughs> until later. Literally, hide It's that too shit. early. <laughs> hide your shit. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to go down this end. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. The fish are barking. <laughs> I Mm, okay okay this one's really short this is a worst first date i went to the wrong house and an elderly couple made me come in and watch tgif with them while they searched for a phone book so i could call my date for her address this is pre-cell phone oh. they went to the wrong house and this like nice old couple was just like come in and we're come watching watch- full house yeah. oh my god <laughs> They're like, I'll get the phone book. Don't you worry about it. This is the most wholesome shit I've ever heard of in my life. Like, I just picture it's like, oh, she probably like brought him cookies or something. He's like sitting there dipping his chocolate chip cookie in a in milk, milk. watching (laughs) Full House. Yeah, that's amazing. Oh man, I am. This actually makes me very happy. I know. (laughs) That sounds like a great day. Yeah, I I said it's not bad at all. All right, so. And anybody who knows me knows that this is legitimately probably my worst date. I literally, two things in the world I hate. What are they? Balloons. Oh, yeah. Dogs humping me. Oh. Oh, okay. Those are my two absolute deal breakers. I don't like it either. So this is, his dog would not stop humping me. So he threw a giant stuffed crocodile on the floor. And the dog (laughs) proceeded to hump it for the rest of the night. Oh. Then he started talking to me about church. Asked me if I would ever consider getting baptized. Then he showed me a necklace that had the entire Lord's Prayer on it and recited the whole thing to me. Wow. Okay. No, thank you. Goodbye. That's too much. Too many That's things. Too many things. The dog humping me. I'm and also, out. even if the dog's not humping you, there is something it's so gross floor. about like, yeah, a dog just going to town <laughs> on a, on a stuffed, stuffed alligator. alligator in front of you for the entirety of the date. Yeah. I hate that. <gasps> That's going to be a no. Okay, I've got one. This is very short, one sentence long. Um, It's a vibe. It is uh, a whole mood. Okay. She had her luggage with her and expected to move in with me. First date. Mm -mm. Oh, Mm no. I'm sorry, (laughs) what? Her luggage her with her. luggage with her. I just imagine showing up at like an Olive Garden or something like that with like <laughs> no. a, like I, a rolly suitcase. What's Hi, going through nice your mind? You. No. What is going through your mind? Like, w- why? Like what luggage? What was your situation? I need. I've got questions. Like, what was your situation wow. like prior? <laughs> that yeah. Wow. Yeah. Did you just get kicked out? Did your roommates kick like you out? Just, that, just, just now. now. Just now. It just now. Just, just happened. happened. <laughs> but I'm sticking with this date. Oh, so, man. I, I made a plan. And uh, so here God. I am. People are so bold. That's amazing. Okay. Um, similar. Similarly. Guy brought his two kids along. Oh. So we could get to know each nope. other. Nope. Asked when I uh, had an evening free to help his daughter with her homework. No. Nope. And if we could have the next date nearer where I lived so he could bring his laundry round. 
Wow. He brought oh. his kids. Was like, when can you come over to help my daughter with her homework? Nope. Also, next time, can we meet by you so that I can bring my laundry to do at your house? Oh, my God. Sir. First date. First sir, date. Three no. kids. <laughs> brought his three kids no. on their first date. Well, it shows you everything that they're looking for. They're looking for somebody mommy. to help with labor. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Is... Taking mommy applications. Yoinks. Yeah. All right. Mine's a bit long, but not it's. It's long for shorty, but not too mm-hmm. shorty for longy. I get it. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. So this guy immediately opened by telling me the details of his three entirely separate pending domestic abuse cases. Oh. You- <laughs> and then <laughs> continue to talk about that. When the waitress would come to the table, he kept asking her to make my drinks a double and wink at her. Uh-uh. All of this happened within 30 minutes. The waitress heard him talking on and off and she as she was waiting on us. She had the manager come to the table and tell me that my car's lights were on. They literally escorted me out covered my check and walked me to my car oh, amazing <gasps> not all heroes i went back during lunch shift the next day to take care of my bill and thank them and deleted plenty of fish yeah oh, yeah, yeah 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 she had <laughs> said like in some of her uh co- in the comments too that the guy the server like they i mean it was kind of like a wild guess like a wing and a prayer that they that she drove you know yeah but she did say that they live in kind of a smallish town that oh. and like uh like uh, getting a lift or something isn't super, super easy. So right. they, they made a guess. And I guess that the manager was like, can I have you gra- go ahead and grab your stuff? I'm pretty sure like like that way she had her stuff with her. That's yeah. amazing. Wow. I, I mean, God bless them. Yeah. That they were like paying attention like that. Yeah, oh. her her inner voice are m- must have been screaming, yeah. help me. Yeah. And that server was like tuned in. She's like, I got you. Yeah, and yeah. also probably that guy's energy was uh, very scary. Yeah, yeah. You know? to yeah. the point. Yeah, exactly. You, we, It's got to be bad it, for it somebody does. to step it in really like that. It really has to. Because yeah. I've seen lots of like bad dates where sure. it's just like awkward and blah. But like to that level, yeah, that's... Danger, yeah. danger. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. Here's here's one. Um, I, a 20-year-old male, have my first date so bad it's worth writing about. Let's call her Anna. Anna and I met through a dating app, and she seemed nice. Not someone I'd usually talk to, but enthusiastic in conversation. Everything was pleasant online, so we met up under the premise I'd help her with uni math, some biology my academic background. Okay. Mm -hmm. Within the first few minutes, several red flags come up. Uh Uh-oh. Turns out Anna is 18 and only applying to uni, but okay, maybe we will still have something to talk about, right? It's only Uh, two years. Yeah. It's not not a big deal. Yeah, Yeah. 18 and 20 is not. Yeah. But a bit later, she proceeds to cuss out a few lads (gasps) that accidentally ran into her with racial slurs. No. (gasps) No. God, people... Look, Just that's another, honestly, I could do another thing on TikTok that's like things that shouldn't happen on first dates, but happen all the time. It's like people just whipping, whipping out, out like racial slurs, first date out the gate. Sw- like, soup's cash. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. Casual racism. You would yep. not think that it would be that common, but it really it is. is. Yeah. Yeah. Lecture me about how the average length of a penis is oh. 20 centimeters. I don't even know what that. I, I don't. Uh, somebody do the math. <laughs> <laughs> the average salary of a working man should be at least ninety k. That the contraceptive pill could be lethal and used only to spread STDs, and that all Android users like myself are poor. Oh wow! Wow, Whoa. she's got takes. Whoa, takes she on takes. Throwing in, thrown in that contraceptive one was like real. Yeah. Out of You're, like, You're like, what? What? <laughs> what? Hold on! Oh my god, I saw a fucking TikTok this morning. This guy, he is always like going around reporting at Trump rallies. Oh yeah, and I've letting them him. tell on himself. Yeah. Love this woman was saying how like all the votes went out into space. Oh, and the change. <laughs> to Biden oh. and that's how it worked and oh. it was like it was like Biden had secret satellites oh, over and I was like oh, what it is and so he, wild he was like how do you know she's like it's a secret it's, <laughs> what? Like, oh it's, my she's God. like I have an in- I antenna have an in here. That, oh, no. did you see the one with the guy where he was like are you like can you just say are you are you for or against slavery and he said no comment what he's like 
What? Sir. Like, I'm going to give you one more opportunity, pro or anti slavery. And he's just I like, no comment. <laughs> like, yeah. Sir. No sir, comment is a comment. comment. There's yeah. a comment <laughs> yeah. there. Yeah. I love the one who I saw today when he was like, he was like, so you're saying that the mask mandate and COVID actually you lost your job for it and he was like yep he's like because i couldn't go into people's homes they wanted to know if i was vaccinated etc cetera, etc cetera. and he's like so your employer fired you he's like well i i was the employer he's like so you had to fire yourself from your self-employment job <laughs> <laughs> he was like it was just so amazing, much. amazing. like what conspiracy uh, theories are, are definitely my my mm my jam but yeah the contraceptive one being used to spread stds is a new one for me yeah yeah not heard that one so yikes um, okay um this is a first date story stubbed my toe walking into the bar to meet him and had to leave once i realized my shoe had filled with blood (gasps) after i couldn't get the bleeding to stop I spent eight hours in the ER for a broken toe that needed 10 stitches. Jesus. Still got a second date, though. <laughs> hey. Wow. Like, she just thought she wow. stubbed her toe and yeah. was like, oh, I'll just, just, ow, but like, I'll just go about my the date. And then you're like, you're like, why is my sock squishy? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, no. God. <laughs> that's a hell of a fucking stub you need yeah. 10, 10 stitches. stitches and you broke it how do you even get Sir. 10 stitches on a toe like they're pretty small yeah like, I, holy yeah. shit Oof. oh god i thought i've stubbed my toe before but clearly i have not Woo. okay a few years back i 27 female had really hit it off with this guy. We had chemistry, great communication, and ev- even a couple flirty texts here and there. Finally, we planned to meet. Turns out, been his mom texting slash sexting me oh. because she wanted to find him someone. Oh, no. I want to peel my fucking skin off. You're kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> You've been sexting with someone's mother. And also, like, if, if it did work out... That's your fucking mother-in-law. mother-in-law. <gasps> you've been... You've sent her pictures of your boobs. Like, oh ew. Oh, my God. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> did, did I and just also, win this did, round? Did oh. the mom... Was she like... Honey, I need a picture of your peen. No, oh, <laughs> I'm talking oh. to girls online for you. I need your pee-pee. Ew, pee-pee picture. No. No. Blah. No. It's Cassie. no. It's a line, and then they're all the way over they're, there. They're on a different continent. <laughs> yeah, that, the honestly. line is not even in their sights anymore. <laughs> oh, the line is so far away. The line like, I don't even see a line. Yeah, yeah. nope. That's because you're so far away from it, ma'am. You are. You're <laughs> oh, way over it. Okay. Well, this is <laughs> anticlimactic, but. <laughs> Um, A guy took me out to dinner and excused himself to use the bathroom. Was gone for about 10 minutes. Whoa. Found out the next day that he was actually in the parking lot having a quickie with the waitress who knew a friend of mine. Oh. 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 Bold. Uh. 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 He's like, "Ah, I'll just be right back. Uh, I'm just going to. I just. Mm. what <laughs> okay, okay. I, th- it's a lot okay um this one is similar to that one he took me to a restaurant and went to the bathroom a lot and stepped out often to take calls hmm. i thought it was weird and then the waiter said you know he's at another table with a blonde oh. woman, right? <gasps> he had two dates at once. No. He's just table hopping? He's no. just back and forth. No. Wow. <laughs> the audacity. The aud- it reminds me of that scene in Mrs. Doubtfire where he, like, he is at both tables and he's like at one table as Mrs. Doubtfire and at the, and other, the other table as, as Robin Williams. Williams. Yes. And so he's having to like go to the bathroom and change. Oh my God. <laughs> and go back and forth. At the, it's just real bold to plan He's like, I can get them both in. I can get them both in. Same time. Yeah. Same Listen, place. Listen, I've oh, done multiple man. dates on the same day, but not that's... at the same time. Yeah. You know? And <laughs> like, I only that's... have seven o'clock available. <laughs> yeah. So Book them both. Yeah. Book them both. <laughs> Double book me. Great. But not. Yeah. Wow. 
Amazing. Woo, that was bold. Yes, very. Uh, well, hey, if you guys have stories, be they short or long, or if you just want to reach out and talk to us, tell us any kind of story, go to our one-stop shop of a website. It's mywarestatepodcast.com. And we love you so much. Cheers. Cheers.